Welcome to the Consumer Tech Update Podcast, where in just one minute, you'll hear facts, opinion, and the latest tech information underneath the surface about real topics you care about. New parents are having a tough time naming their offspring. For starters, the baby's name has to be freely available on social media. Kim Commando with your Consumer Tech Update. Hey, do you have a question about something digital I can lend a hand to? I have a great new way you can ask me your questions. Just call 602-212-0058. Leave your question and your contact information, and then you'll hear from us. Yeah, I know. It's that easy to call me with your questions. 602-212-0058. When my son was born, I purchased his name as a domain so he'd always have it. That's not good enough anymore, thanks to the rise of social media. Parents are now relying on available Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram handles to name their kids. The reason? Many parents want their kids to have a social media presence before they're born. After birth, social media might help them in business. The problem? It's not likely these social media sites will be available in 20 years. But they are onto something. The number one earner on YouTube making videos in 2018 was a seven-year-old boy doing toy reviews. He made $22 million. His name is Ryan. I'm Kim Commando. When Cynthia came to TurboTax, she had just launched her new side gig, a true crime podcast. I'm a first-rate detective with a golden voice. As her TurboTax expert, I made her second income count by guaranteeing 100% accurate filing and her maximum refund. <clears throat> what did she do with that refund? Find out next week. Switch to Intuit TurboTax and make your moves count. See guarantee details at TurboTax.com guarantees. Experts only available with TurboTax Live.